Late breaking today, more than 50 unmarked burial sites found at Indian boarding schools in this country. That's according to the federal government. Thanks for watching at 5 o'clock. I'm Evan Onstein. I'm Jessica Shambach. They also say more than 500 children died while at these schools, and they expect that count to go up. KOCO's Abigail Ogle has been following this developing story, and Abby, dozens of Oklahoma schools in a year-long report from the Department of Interior. I have that list right here, guys. Uh, 79 of those schools were right here in Oklahoma, the most out of any state. I've been going through this report. It's more than 100 pages long, and this is just volume one. It says physical, sexual, and emotional abuse took place at these boarding schools for decades. We want to show you these photos are all from Indian boarding schools in Oklahoma. We got these from the Historical Society here. Boarding schools across the country received federal funding from 1819 to 1969, and they were run by the U.S. government and religious institutions. The U.S. Interior Secretary Deb Holland, the first Native American to serve in the cabinet in U.S. history, says these federal policies attempted to wipe out Native identity, language, and culture. The report says these schools used military sites and they were designed to separate a Native child from their reservation, their family, language, and culture, even forced them to cut their hair, saying police forcibly removed these kids from their homes to take them to these schools. And I wanted to read part of the conclusion to you. It says the department expects the approximate number of Indian children who died at these boarding schools will be in the thousands or tens of thousands. Guys, we'll be following this, and tonight I'm talking with the Shawnee chief who is on his way to Washington, D.C. right now to testify before Congress tomorrow about this very thing.